Welcome to the office. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. We're on visit number five. Five. Yeah. And we started working on the job. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Tell me. Tell me what's different. Good, actually. So my boyfriend mentioned that I um, haven't been popping as much. Um, okay. And like now that I think about it, it that's true. I, I maybe noticed it like a couple times. In terms of the popping? Mm -hmm. How about the pain? No pain? Okay. How about the crack in the neck and all that? Have not cracked my neck. Pretty cool. What else is different? Ankles are fine. My tailbone is still the, the same, I think. I would say so. Okay. But you did something um, this weekend? Um, you went on another snowboarding. trip? Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Uh -huh. Okay. Probably don't want to be snowboarding during this work, but it's okay. I mean, you do what you got to do. It's like a work thing. Okay, yeah. that's fine. So number one, jaw's doing better. Mm -hmm. Number two, we're cracking our spine less. Mm -hmm. Number three, well, are we, we're cracking spine. our neck oh, yeah, less. Ne sorry. Yeah. And number three, we're moving a little bit better. Mm. Tell me about the headaches, because one of the things is you had persistent headaches. Yeah, I mean, I did have a headache this morning, but it was in a different spot. Where? Um, like back here. Right As there. opposed to where? Like my whole head. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Most we're just having it at the base of the skull? Yeah. Which, so I, it must be like, because I didn't crack my neck. I don't know. Like maybe it's the weather or something. I don't know. Maybe you're doing better. Maybe your spine is getting more balanced. Maybe you have less nerve pressure. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. Starting at the base of the neck. Yep, there's that skate, uh, snowboarding. I'm getting 12 points left occiput. We're going to continue on that today. Oh, you know what? I also felt like when you asked me about where I felt sore after snowboarding. Yes. Like right here, it was just like my shoulder and like my neck kind of, I don't know what it was. Like maybe it was just looking down. Right sided? Um, yes, yeah. And you f did you fall on the, when you fell, how did you fall? Tailbone or side? I don't. Five points, T3. Say, I don't even know, honestly. Okay. Oh, we got a new one today. L1, L2, L1, L2, which goes to the hip. L1 neurologically goes to the anterior hip. L2 is the uh, side of the hip, lateral hip. L3 is the posterior hip. Mm. L1, L2 is part of the inguinal canal. L1, L2, part of the colon. Connections to the gallbladder. I'm getting it down low, S3, S4, five points. That's a new one, L1, L2, T2, T3. And we're gonna continue on the occiput. Let's do static palpation, running our fingers down the spine. And what's really cool right now is I'm doing this and we can compare it to the first visit even. There's less swelling in this part of the body. Okay. There's still the swelling here. You can see the edema. You can see the edema there. But this was starting up here before. There it is. Feet together. Open and close the knees. Feet touching. Open and close. Right side only, please. Okay, when we do the right, the whole left wants to shift. Left side only, please. When we do the left, the right side's not bad. Okay, there's more fixation in the tailbone and left SI joint today. Scoot back for me, please. Now, let's feel which lumbar we got. This is L5, L4, L3, L2, L1, L1, T12, L1, L2, which one's more tender to you? One, I'm feeling it actually starting there at Ooh, two. Oh, two, yeah. L2, two, Ooh, right there. five, one, two, three, four, 
five. I'm going to say three. I'm going to go on the outside. That right side is okay. Uh, Tender more there or there? Um, more on the More on the right? One, yeah. Okay, on the top or the bottom? Not so bad, actually. Yeah. More here. Oh, yeah. That's four, between four and five. Left pelvis, S4, five on the right. Let's check the neck. Two is moving. Three, down at three, four. T4. T4 is part of the heart and lung. Hmm. hmm. I was feeling your pulse earlier when we talked. And her, your pulse one, heart, was good. Pulse two, breath, was a little bit low. Pulse three, digestion, was decent. Right there. Do you feel this? Yeah. T4. To the right, to the left. T5. Not as bad, though. Okay, spicy. Let me look at the x-ray and figure out a game plan. S1, S2, S3, S4. And if you look over here, this is what I'm going to do today. And you can see this right here. So this is S1. Okay, S1, S2, S3. Look at S4 right there. That's the piece I'm going to work on. So what I want to do is I kind of want to bring this a little bit forward, that piece. That's that nub right there that's... Like, should, should it be a slightly lower? Uh, ideally, they should... Ideally, like, we all have variations, and there's oh. normal variants as well. Ideally, we want to be curved. Okay? Oh, okay. Ideally. Yes, be kind of yes, and then at some point, we're going to need to fix that. Yeah. Okay? And that's... Let's get the sacrum stabilized, make sure you have a good foundation, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do on that down the road and that's important because what it is and this is really cool I've been working on a lot of coccyx s5s and I want to talk about this real quick when we look at the spinal cord okay spinal cord or starts at the brain brain stem it goes down through the foramen magnum through the occiput atlas the spinal cord ends at l1 and from L1, there are all these fibers that go down, that go down into the lumbar, these lumbar nerves and the sacral nerves. The end of it is called the phylum terminale. And that inserts right there at the tip of the coccyx. And I want you to think of it like a guitar string. Think of it this way. Mm -hmm. You know a guitar string, how you tune it? By turning it and you adjust the tension. So the coccyx is the final end that the end of the spinal cord attaches to that maintains the tone or tension of the entire spinal cord. And what I'm getting a lot right now, as we're working on that and getting that set, it's changing the entire tone of the person's neurology or their spinal cord. So I'm getting people reporting back all this stuff that needs to release is starting to release up here from what we did down there. Because oh, wow. the tone is getting better. Yeah. It's kind of cool. But if I, when I start on that, there's no snowboarding for a oh, couple okay. weeks. So for about two weeks, when I work on it, we just have to be a little mindful. Okay. Okay? okay. You ready? Yes. So what we'll do first, this is the order that we're going to do. We're going to do the tailbone first, S4. We're going to do the left SI joint, PIIN. We're going to do the right S4. I'm going to have you walk after that. Then I'm going to do T4. I'm going to have you walk again, and then we're going to decide on L2 versus occiput. I'm right on the medial border of the PSIS. You okay? Okay. Bueno. Home. Gotcha. Let's go to the other side now, please. Okay. I'll be on the outside of, for this, I'll be down low, but I'll be on the outside, okay? okay. There you go. And we want to torque it up. Relax there, please. Straighten out the head. That's a baby one. Come up slowly. Let's go face down over here. I'm there, okay? We need to torque it counterclockwise, this way, this way. Uh 
Oh. That's a piece. Oh. There you go. That's it. You're not done. Oh. T4. Let's go to the x ray for the listing. T4, we're going to set as a PLS. Posterior left superior. One, two, three, four, T4. Oh. Nice. Oh. Let's walk it off, please. Okay. And walk a couple of times. Good stuff. One more time. I need to see the dimples. Go ahead and walk towards the door. They're moving better up and down now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. Have a seat back over here. Let's rescope. I want to see if L2 still shows up. T4 is clear. <clears throat> L2 is still there, but less. Sacrum is clear. Occiput. Occiput is still there. Let's go do L2. L2, we're going to set it as a PR. Over here, please. Okay, I'm going to reach over for the PR. And part of the reason, I want to set it towards me, into me. Five, four, three, two. So I'm on the right side. I'm going to cross over. I'm going to put my knee right there on your side of, on the side of your hip, okay? That's just for stability. And I'm bringing it into me this way. This way. Can you let the tummy go down, please? There you go. Home run. Come on up. And let's go walk it off once and we'll get in the chair. Okay. You're doing well. <laughs> Have a seat. Now the fun part. A lot of people ask about this strap that we use or the seat belt. And the purpose of the seat belt is to stabilize the upper thoracic spine during cervical chair adjusting. Is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. Lift it up. There you go. It just holds things better. It makes the adjustment a lot easier so you're not rattling the spine. Chin back. Occiput. All good. Look up. Oh, nice. Clean. Slowly open the jaw, open. Very cool, slowly close. Slowly open. Left side comes out first, right, left. Okay, so we're gonna do the left compensation first if she lets me. And you remember, if, you're, if it's too much, you just tell me to stop, raise the hand and I'll stop. And the lesson here, as we talked about in the first and second visit, you weren't ready. Don't force it with the patient. When the patient is ready, timing is key. BJ talked about timing, BJ Palmer, who was the developer of the profession, and he talked about tone and timing. And one is, is the doctor ready to give the adjustment? And two, is the patient ready to receive the adjustment? Open all the way. Open. Close half. Ah! Oh, nice. Nice. I got you. I got you.
you do it? I did part one. Okay. I'm going to recheck if I need to do part two today and if you're going to let me do it. Okay. Look up. Okay. You need a second? Take a minute. Take a minute. She let us have it. <laughs> she received. You received today, okay? Yeah. Look up. That means she's ready to go to the next step. Slowly open. Slowly close. Uh, I'm just guiding with it. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to try one more thing, gentle. I'm going to use the condal block, which is to stabilize the cervical spine. And we're just, you're going to open. I'm going to just help guide it back in. Okay. Open. Open. Slowly close. You're good. You got it. Uh. You got it. You got it. Almost there. There it is. Uh. Uh. <sighs> That's it. Uh. 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 Hi. <laughs> it's just changing emotions. It's not discounting or let her go through what she needs to go through to let it out. I did T4 first before doing all that for a reason. Mm -hmm. T4 is part of that heart chakra. Gotta open it up. So you can allow what you need, what you need to in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. this time it felt more like emotional. More emotional. Deeper? Mm -hmm. Not harder? Yeah. Hopefully not harder. Yeah, it was like the same as last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you allowed today. Yeah. You received today. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you're going to let go of a lot this weekend. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay? That's your job. Okay. Your homework. Okay. Walking. Enjoying. Enjoy the rain. Go run in the rain. Remember back in the day when we were kids being silly in the rain? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a good thing to do tomorrow or today, okay? Okay. Okay? Relax there. That's it. One more. Okay. In here, it almost feels like, I don't know if it's a nerve or a tendon. I don't know. But Let me it's check it. Very weird, yeah. So what you're describing is the navicular bone, drop navicular. Yeah. And to go through the order, talus, first misalignment during ankle inversion sprains, talus, this one is up more. Now, I'm not going to go too deep on this. I want to focus that healing energy with what we did there. We're going to use the extremity board today. Next visit, I'm going to be breaking up a lot of stuff in your feet. Okay. Okay? So let's go ahead and use the board. AS talus, medial tilt, drop, posterior fib. We have a knee. Posterior proximal. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my go. lord. Ooh. Rain. Oh. 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 Is... Another side, please. Now we get to it. Calcaneus and navicular. Navicular is part of the medial arch. Cool. Ah, oh my lord. Ah. You asked for it. Yeah. You breathing. Oof. That's a piece. There you go. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Go on your tummy. Drop cuneiforms just to be safe, right there. Ah. How you doing? Oh. How you doing? Oh, God. Uh. That was a home run. Yeah. 
Sit up, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three. Squeeze. Relax. Oh, it scares the shit. Let it go. That's it. Oh man. <laughs> we had a good session today. That was great. I'm gonna give you the week. Okay. Where we group at the end of the week next week. Okay, for sure. Okay? Cool. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. And continue the process.